Hello, peeps. It's me again. It's again. So, you know, again, at my favorite store, uh, I came across some pork loin roast. It was on sale. This is actually two, a little more than two and a half pounds. 506. Marked down. I think it was marked down Wednesday when I got this. But we're going to marinate it. And we're going to use McCormick's. <laughs> Grill mates, Brazilian steakhouse, but we're going to use that on some pork. See that? And the calories, well, it's a lot of sodium, but it's, you know, the calories are doable. So, I'm going to make we're going to marinate in this, in this bag. We need one pack of this. We need a uh, a quarter cup of oil. Oh, let's see here. Need a quarter cup of water. Throw your butt up. Maybe more than I don't need, but okay. And then now we need one pack of this. If you look, just stand it. Uh, if you can see that too good. Yeah, kind of like a yellowish color. Has a nice aroma to it, though. What we're going to do is do a little squishy squish. Mix all this stuff together. Now, it says this is up for two pounds. So, this is not going to be quite enough for this. This is, this is up to two pounds. This is about two and a half pounds. So what I may do, I might cut off about a half pound of this and then marinate it because I can always do with more of this. So let me go get me a knife. I'm going to open this up, cut off a half pound. I also, you know, yes, because I want to do some other stuff. All right, so yeah, we're going to do that. And I need to save some of this to baste it. Uh, because I can't use it after the raw meat's been sitting there. Mm -mm. So I'll be right back. I just need to take a little bit of this. I'm going to put a little bit of it. Just a little bit. I'll do that though. Okay. So that's good. We got that done. So I'm going to take this. Let me turn the camera down so you see what, exactly what I'm doing. Let's move this over a little bit. I'm gonna take this. That means I'm gonna to have to clean my scale. Oh no! I got a plate I could use. Well, this plate is not going to work. It is too small. Let me become a. Mm. Okay. Go ahead and we're gonna cut. That 
should be about zero ounces. So this should be thirty-two. That's close. That's thirty-nine. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh gosh. 32 ounces, which is roughly about two pounds. So that's what I need. I'm gonna take this, put it over here, and I'm gonna take this and drop her right in the bag. And let just squish all the sauce and goodness all on this. So now we're going to put it in the refrigerator for a little bit and let it marinate. I'm going to take this other piece and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator uh, for later. So, yeah, so I'm going to use this. See, that's a nice little pizza half pound uh, pork roast. Put it in a Ziploc bag. Feed off all the air and seal it tight. Look at that. Beautiful. So now, while that's marinating, there's nothing, pretty much nothing I can do but prep for the bake. So we're gonna put it in the oven for about, that's two pounds, so we're looking at about an hour, hour and 10 minutes, somewhere around there. Uh, by then it should reach a nice, wonderful degree, uh, 180 degrees, somewhere around there. And uh, we're gonna wrap it up and get this thing, get this party started. So I'll be back with you guys. All right, peeps, so. It's that time. Hi. Right. This is bundle of joy. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna pretty much just lose it right out of this bag. maintain the moisture in it and we're going to go ahead and bake it so I'm going to go ahead and bake it so it's going to be about an hour so I'll be back Pete so this is what it looks like all nice and wrapped up like a pig in a blanket okay so I'm going to move some of this stuff over all right so it's full of fat and juice that's what it looks like. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I've already did a temperature check. It's already within the safe range. Take this out. And I'm just going to go ahead, move this over. And I'm going to just cut a slice of this. Look at, look how beautiful that looks. I said, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this up, slice it up. Since I have it knife in hand, I might as well just go ahead and uh, slice it up for eating. Smell is quite interesting. 
And I say that in a good way. It's not like, oh gosh, this smells like a hot mess. So, I'm going to... Hold up, let me clean this up. Here we go. So, I'm going to take... I'm going to just take this back in. Look at that. Quick sniff test. Oh! Now, I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, Guinness cracked pepper mac and cheese. And we're going to do another sniff test. Again, it has a almost beer like aroma to it. It's the most brain boggling experience I think I've had. Um, that's really weird for it to really smell like that. So let's see what this tastes like. Mm. To be honest with you, that's not bad at all. Very flavorful. I can taste the herbs and stuff that's in that um, McCormick. I forgot what it's called. Anyway, I'll post it. Now the mac and cheese, again, it's taking my head for a loop because not only do I smell a mild aroma of what I think may be Guinness or some kind of beer, I can taste it. I'm not that fond of this. It's, I do taste a little bit of pepper. It's the weirdest thing in the world. It's, this is really, I don't know what to make of that. Um, but it's really weird to taste if you are a beer drinker, you might enjoy this. Um, but this, this pork is delicious. Oh my gosh, this is so good. But this, no, how, no, no matter how I eat it, It doesn't compute very well in my head. Cause I eat it and I got that taste of beer in my mouth. It's the weirdest taste I've ever had. I was not expecting this at all. Not at all. Now, how about I rate it? Just my own personal opinion. I'm not fond of it at all. It's, mac and cheese should never have an almost beer-like taste to it, and that's what I feel, uh, that's what I'm tasting when I eat this. Not only when you smell it, you only you also taste it in your mouth. That someone maybe accidentally spilled a little beer in the mac and cheese. Um, the noodles I can deal with, it's that weird taste that I can't get over. Um, you know, let's get a second opinion. Let me get my son, because maybe this is a new age thing, and maybe old pops don't get it. So let me go grab him and see if we can get a, his opinion and see what he thinks of, of it. I'll be back with you. So he's gonna give a, he's gonna sample the uh, pork, which I'm pretty sure you're not gonna have too much of a problem with. Not too bad? That's right. Taste that. That's what I want to know what you think of. Mm. You like that? No, that's different. Exactly. What does it taste like? I can say it's creamy. But what it tastes like, man, I can't really tell you. 
Can you really tell me? I'm gonna tell you what. Good, I, though. I t- you like you like you can have the rest of that. You don't like this? No, it it, 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 it tastes like beer. Nah, definitely nah. Heck no. That's what I taste. Shoot, you suck out the rest of this. Shoot. I'm telling you, you guys think I'm joking? Young blood can throw down in the kitchen when it comes to eating. He about to eat all that, and he's about to eat the rest of this. I don't eat much of nothing compared to him. Just, mm, and this is the second and full course. But that still tastes like beer to me. Mm-hmm. But he says it doesn't. Maybe it's my taste buds. But I got that aroma of beer. So how would you rate it? Oh, uh, this is 10 out of 10. Oh, the, the mac and cheese? Mm-hmm. What about the other stuff? I give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Now that's very interesting because that's very interesting because I give this closer to a, I give the mac and cheese or the Guinness mac and uh, cracked pepper mac and cheese I give this close to a, a six and a half seven but I give the pork closer to a eight and a half nine completely reversed <laughs> that is so interesting but you got the opinions of two until next time family you take care of yourself <laughs>